8.28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm T-Speaker222 with Dogecoin and you. I wanted to give you guys an update before I got the kids to school. So Maddox down 1.85%. It, it rolled over a little bit here from a dollar. Where did it get up to? About a dollar twelve. I thought it could get to a dollar thirteen. We missed it by about a penny. Um that one dollar nine ninety-two ended up being used as support or resistance. So now if we bounce back up here, this would be the J hook that I was talking about. If we use 109.16 now and it bounce back up as resistance, then it comes down to 102, 101 area. And then if it can't hold that, that is when it gets ugly with Matic. We're not going to talk about that yet. So we would be looking for a double bottom here if it comes back down at 101. If that breaks the first move, and I hate to do this, but the first move would be around 87 cents. So... Just keep that in mind with Matic. It's not pretty if it breaks down. Um, the rest of these, like I talked about yesterday, we talked about how we could be creating these M's in here. And I talked about it in the higher time frames. If we just started doing this and then pulled it down, what could happen potentially? And now that we're using these as resistance, this could be a technical head and shoulders here that could have created in a very weird way with uh, Doge. And now if this is I'm topping reversal, now that we're getting rejected by the 20-day, let's say it comes back up and then pushes down, that's bad. We have bearish engulfing candles. If we can push down just a tiny bit more, it would be a, probably a nice fall this morning. Um, they're all looking the same here this morning. I don't really want to do a, hey, this is that and this is very bearish, but that's just what's going on. We fell through the 20 day, fell back through the 200, which means we started a bearish divergence here on Ethereum. We talked about it yesterday, how some of these had started a bearish divergence. We were close to finishing them, and in the smaller time frames, we were starting bullish divergences, and the higher time frames are going to win out. So once this short term move happened, now we're going to get this, and we're probably going to get rejected unless we can get a volume spike here. So. It's an interesting morning, but all of them are looking the same. Divergence has started here on Litecoin. If we come up here and get rejected by that $100 mark, $99.80, it's going to be these further drop downs, at least to these double bottom areas. But it could be an interesting morning this morning. We could have a nice little drop off. Shiba's done the exact same thing. So is this going to come up, get rejected, and then have to double bottom? We might be coming down to double bottoms here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just looking at this now, we very well could be because all of these have fallen through. It doesn't matter which one we have to look at. And now it looks like we want to come back and test the 20 day as resistance. If that's the case, we're going to have a nice little pull down this morning. If we can pull past here and make some noise, well, obviously we could have a little bit of a run here just to retest the drop point because we haven't got all the way up there. So could there be a 4 or 5% move still within all of these? Sure there could. But there could also be a 10 to 15% drop within each and every one of these. Stay blessed. Make sure to hit that like button because it's going to be a spotty morning. Join the Dogecoin and you army if you guys need a little more help.